the Uganda we want. So mu Uganda jetu agala mu lutalo no loku lwanyisa obulabba yo bukenu zinze champi to obuvundo. Mu mm. na Uganda ino kubanga yenyigira mu fena twenyigira mu lutalo. Ate abalala tebasomye kuzimba. Wabula bayizo kuzimba. Uganda jetu agala okulaba. Nge ngudo zonna nkole. Nunji public transport nga weeri. Kati eno government yeriwo a uh, elina akabonero ka lusifa. Buli chotu mwa kwa mwuganda chiri kwa oksijeni. Eiza babi kama uli le marungi, obama uli le mabii. Mini sita teyeta agisa kabanga libu debu no. Zachi. Welcome to the program, The Uganda We Want. Uh, nze mulanzi, mwebale kutugo berira, mwebale kutulaba, Abali kubunyolo TV, Dream TV, Impact FM, na abali kumutimba gano guafe, ogwa www.imc.ug, uh, neku Victory Uganda app, application yeyo jifuna kusimu yo, mwabai ne simu yezo kuseleza, the Twitter smartphone. Osobolo kubanga, you can actually download uh, that application, Dream TV Uganda and you will be able to listen to Impact FM, watch Bunyolo TV, watch Dream TV and uh, you can as well follow some updates from Victory Christian Center and you can listen in and watch uh, the latest gospel preached by uh, Dr. Joseph uh, Serwada. So it's a very uh, fertile application as for you and for the edification of your soul, of your mind and for the betterment of your life. <laughs> so I urge you to download that um, Victory Uganda app. Well, again, we have uh, Mr. Elvis Freeman Opondo, born of Tororo town. Uh, soon that will be Rock City. Actually, I, I know it is in plan, but let me also be part of the enforcer Good. and uh, advocate True. for that. You know, I would love really to, to travel to Tororo again uh when it is a city when it is a rock city it will happen uh, every time i go there the first time i i i, I flew the second time uh, was in uh in, in a vehicle mm. but i could stop somewhere and i could look at that rock and i'm like wow. that is our pride in tororo uh, yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. I, many people say so and True. when you're moving around True. when you're at that total petrol station yes. and shell this time they're like yeah that is our that is, when you see it you <laughs> that's know our pride <laughs> we are proud of that rock True. True. yeah and uh, even other regions mm. they also do have something mm. that they have their landmarks uh, yeah their landmarks yeah mm. so we, we we are proud of our country uganda and actually is the reason why we have this program the uganda we want we would love you ugandans to love your country but also i want you to bear in mind that this is an educative program the people we host here they are it actually we host you it's just that we haven't gotten a chance to come here mm. or we haven't come to you but we are going to be coming to you very soon mm. so those who get a chance to come in the studios we have them and those that we come and find you where you are we as well record you and you give us your kind of Uganda that you want uh, to see. So this is an educative program where people come and share their perspective on the Uganda that you want to see. It's what we are going to uh, hear from Mr. Elvis. Uh, the last episode, he talked about that the Uganda he would love to see is a Uganda where we get back to our motto. He said it seems, it looks like not even seeming, but it is, it, it, we have deviated. Mm. We have been diverted. Mm. We are now in another route. In another okay. route. Uh, not the, the route of, for God and, and my, country. my country. So I want him to help us today in, the, in this first part. How can we get back to our motto for God and my country. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Mm -hmm. Mulanzi. I also want to welcome back our viewers. Yes. Who love this program. The Uganda we want, or the Uganda you want. 
Now you, the Uganda you you want. It's now the Uganda the I. I want. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. So I'm still on our motto, for God and my country. And how was it supposed to be before I go to what it is now and how we are supposed to go back to the, the right track? Yes. You see, this motto uh, is a reflection of uh, our aspirations, our values, uh, our goals as a nation. And the nation is not the landmass we have. The nation is you and I. The nation is the viewer watching us right now. That is the nation. So our aspiration, what you would want to see in this country. Do you want a, a lawless country? Do you want a country full of evil? A country where people don't revere leaders? Or you want a country where there is reverence for leaders, reverence for the Lord, and morality, it's at its peak. I think that's what all of us wanted. And including this person who coined this motto. Uh, his name is uh, Hilarious. Kaijanavio, mm -hmm. the late. He died, I think, in 2017. Yeah, about I'm not so that. sure, but yeah, but I don't About that. that. I believe the Holy Spirit used this man. So, um, I have some points here. Uh, the key aspect in observance of our motto. Mm. One of them is patriotism. Mm. For God and my country. When you love your country, you love God. Because it's God who gave us this country. So, how do you love your country? Love the people in there. Love all about your country. Work towards making it uh, be admired by those who are not of the country. Mm. Yeah? Make it appear good even on social media. Make it appear good on newspaper. Don't work towards uh, like uh, smearing mud on it. That's not good. That's not patriotic. So patriotism is one of them. Is mm. it okay to make something good when it is not good? Yes. Actually, hmm? that's the reason. We make it good because it's not good. And if it's good, we maintain the goodness. So, if you're following the Christian principles, hmm. aren't you a liar? I can't be. I can't be right now so on this For on me, this topic. I go in the village in Tororo. Yes. I look at a, a health center two or three. Hmm. It is really in a bad shape. Mm -hmm. Then I come and I present it as good when it is not. You see, when you're looking at because I'm, a pat I'm patriotic. When you're looking at the entirety of the hospital, the status of the hospital, I don't think it can be bad 100%. There are good things in it. Those are the good things I want you to remove and show to the world. These bad ones, mm -hmm. you can clear them How can behind I, the okay, curtains. Me. How can we clear behind the, the, the curtains? Eh? That's where we are coming. Okay. But I'm still giving you some points. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm listening. I was talking of uh, <laughs> like fight towards developing the interest of your country. Mm. That's patriotism. Uh, the other one is national pride. Are you proud of your country? Mm. Oh, when time, they say, are you Ugandan? Yeah. You say it with the... With, the, with that oomph, with that uh, courage. Hey. Oh, you say, you, you, you start lamenting right away. And by the way, if, I was, if there was a, a thing such as disappearing from this world and be given another opportunity to be born in another country, me, I would still choose Uganda. Mm. I, would, I wouldn't go to any other place because Uganda is unique in its own way. Mm. It is just we, the people, who are trying to change it. And we are going to get a solution for it, I believe. Uh, so I talked about patriotism, national pride, we are supposed to have that, according to our motto. Uh, the other one is the moral values. The moral values. We are supposed to uphold the moral principles and ethics, whether privately or even in public life. What you do in your privacy, does it support your country in any way? Does it support its development and its growth? Mm. And what you do publicly also, does it support its uh, uh, development and growth? And I don't mean you can build a hospital, no. Just like we started earlier in, in our first episode, we talked about correcting a child of a neighbor. Mm. But of course you correct with love. You don't get a big stick and you... Uh, you, you hit the you head. You hit the head yeah, no That's not correction. <laughs> hmm? Correct the child with love. Any child when handled well will listen. So that is it. Moral values. The yeah. other one is service to the nation. 
whatever you do, Mr. Mulanzi, you're here, you're not working for government, you're working for uh, a private entity, but you're serving the nation. What you're doing right now, hosting this show, you're serving the nation. And I know you're doing it with a lot of love and mm -hmm. joy. Now, that is patriotism. That is what you're doing to make sure uh, uh, our motto gets the real meaning. Okay, so for me to love what I'm doing, especially in serving my country, oh, yes. I should forego uh, the negatives, the challenges, and bear them behind, bear with them behind the curtain. Don't forego, <laughs> don't bear with them. Don't forego, don't bear with them. What you should do instead is, as you're serving the country, uh -huh. these are the negatives. Mm. Don't allow them to pull you down. Because when they pull you down, they'll remove the morale from doing mm. the one that you can do. Okay. But what you do, you solve them behind the curtain. Don't bring them to the neighbor. Like we have homes, and in all homes there are quarrels, there are issues. But what do people do? They handle them behind the curtains. After supper, all doors are locked, and then you start so sorting out an issue. But you don't bring it to the neighbor. People in marriage, they quarrel. But when they come out of the room, they are holding hands. Mm. Now that is good. That is so We good. don't know what happens. We don't know. They could have even slapped each other. But when they come out, they are holding hands. When you're doing bad, like uh, there was a time, I think when I was in campus, I was in a very hard time financially. So me, I could cheer up myself, cook my porridge in my rental, take the porridge, when I come out sweating, people think I'm from eating chicken and rice. But nobody saw the porridge. Mm. And I'm jovial and I'm happy as usual. Mm. So that is it. That's exactly what we should do for our country as well. You don't come to social media. You don't get a chance of going to Kenya and then you're speaking about your country, all negatives. No. Mm. Just participate in making sure you handle those negatives. Participate. That's another thing that we are coming into. The other one is, I talked about service to the nation, then respect for authority. Respect for authority. That is what is lacking. This is your third time uh, when we, we kicked off our discussion with mm. you, mm. emphasizing more on respect. Respect for authority. Uh, what is the message behind that you, really, you would love your Ghanaians to understand? Because uh, you're saying it with vigor. Oh, yes. With we, we, passion. We, yeah, yes. Huh? Yes. Uh, what, what is behind the, now, that now, statement? Now you listen to what is, what yes, is behind I'm it. Yes, I'm listening. Respect for the country. Like I told you. Respect for authority. For authority. Thank yes. you so much. Respect for authority. You see, all leadership comes from God. And I'm talking about God because I know this is a Christian station. Okay. If, even if, if, but even of if, course we are talking with, with, with a number of people. Children of God, even Muslims, they uh -huh. believe in a God. Mm. They believe in a God. The same God actually we believe in is the one they believe in. It's just a problem of language and things in there. But No, I don't think so. Their God is different. But they know there exists a God. Yeah, uh -huh, but and they know they were created by God, God. You you're talking about. Okay, you that's a discussion him. of another day. <laughs> that's a discussion of another day. But the other thing is I will that invite in in Zenga Wenda. Wenda. Oja kaka sandi. Atonda goli komula la nyu. Wenda. 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 Going yes. back to my point, yes. respect for authority. All leadership comes from God. Uh, but on that piece, mm. because I have the interaction with the Muslims, mm. they also believe that mm. all authority, whether it is their God, Allah, mm. or your God, God, mm. Mm. Eh? Mm. Mm. Uh, or your God, Jehovah, yes. or, or, or Lord. At least or whatever. they believe there is a supreme yeah, being that somewhere. That authority comes from that God. Thank you so mm. much. So when you know that the authority comes from God, yes. the God you believe in, mm. Why then do you not uh, give respect to this, this leader that God has brought to you? It started from the times of the Israelites. Remember Moses? People were so impatient. And then what did God do? God made them perish. Mm. We thank God his wrath has sort of come down now. Otherwise, I'm telling you, we wouldn't even be around maybe if God still had the same wrath. We thank God for Jesus Christ coming. Anyway, respect for authority. There was a boy who was in prison the other time mm. for insulting the Kabaka. Yeah. There are people who insult Katikiro. There are people who insult President Museveni and he has been insulted from, I don't know which, yeah. And how does he play it? 
he plays it cool. He plays it cool. It's only, I think, uh, the security forces sometimes who, who see and say, no, this is, this is beyond. This is beyond. But the man himself is calm. Now we all don't have that kind of shock absorber. Mm. They insult you, you want to insult back. You want they, to revenge. They, you want to revenge immediately. So respect for authority. You don't do that. Even if you are part of the opposition, you respect the man. Yeah. Okay. If all authority comes from God, yes. then there a possibility uh, where I see this leader that came from God. Mm. He's not doing what really the God I think mm -hmm. is commanding us to do. Mm. And then I I, I become mm. Hey, Thank yeah. you. Isn't Thank there a possibility mukawairo kamwe mwa Bible? Katika nkubulire. When you see this leader of yours, whom God has given to you, deviating, you tell him, but in respect. Suppose he refuses. You have told him you've done your part. You've done your part. Uh, but when he refuses, I'm in pain. Because what I'm telling him to, to, to change mm. is what is going to give me life and enjoy and love my mm. country and become a part. But he's not handling and it. And he doesn't see your pain? Mm -hmm. He's not seeing my pain. How but, do you, you, but you are you telling see, me every leadership comes from God. It comes from God. Mostly the leadership that takes long in leadership. That leadership is recognized by God, my friend. It's not by Which is okay. But if every leader comes from God, mm. let's leave alone this one. Who we have left them. And now let's go to these other leaders. Mm. Because they are also other leaders. Mm, mm, they are mm. ministers. Yes. They are members of parliament. Even LC1. LOC1. Mm. But you, you could see them the way they are handling. For example, the issue of land. Mm. Eh? Mm. I am a, 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 a woman is there is crying like why do why wouldn't I get help from you sir and for him is saying ah uh ah -uh, me I have declared that land is not yours actually you you you, you go move away from my office such such leaders are also there eh? such leaders are also there eh. God installs them onto their seats. to inflict me onto power no he does it with a very good motive uh -huh. and then people deviate people deviate. And we we pray. We pro we, of course we talk to them. You don't pray while keeping. I mean, uh, while keeping quiet. You also put an effort. You talk to them. But my emphasis is how do you talk to them? Do you insult them? Do you talk so ill about them? You keep knocking. You keep knocking until something happens. You've been in this country for quite some good time, mm. and I I I believe you understand what I'm talking about mm. here. Mm. People, they are leaders in this country, mm. and people have really tried to talk to them in a very good way. It could be a but problem they have, of, they are not changing. It could be a problem of resources if you are talking about service delivery. It could mm -hmm. be resources, and corruption is one of them. Resources are released, and then they don't trickle down to the rightful person to receive the the the, the, the services because of corruption. Mr. Mulans releases ten thousand. I receive it. To give to another person, I have to remove two. I give eight. I mean, you get, you receive ten. You give me eight. I give maybe six. Just like that. Before you know it, the last person, the rightful receiver, recipient of the money, gets four thousand. Has got four thousand. That is bad. Six thousand has been shared. Has gone by people. Has gone on top. Has gone. Yeah. And that is so bad. And nobody is safe about that. But you see. But, but now you are saying. I must obey them. They are leaders obey them. that came from God. Just obey them. Ooh, well, Not just obey them. Is. Let me tell you something. Will we ever stop crying if you're saying we should obey them and they are doing all that? I'm supposed to receive 10,000. Mm. I receive 4,000. Mm. And the 6,000 mm. has been shared mm. by the people you're telling me I should obey them. They are coming from God. Talk to them. Imagine. If you can meet them and tell them your pain, the better. But how you present your pain matters. Mm. How you present your case rather matters. You don't go with insults. You don't go with, of course, that annoyance. Of course, you'll be annoyed. Compose yourself first before you go. The problem I've seen with the people is that when they go to their leaders, they blame them, they bash them, they want to shame them in public. Such is not good. But I believe if you came well, just like a child in a home. Mm. You come to the parents so well, even if the dad is so tough, how? 
there is that heart that he will spare for you. Mm. Yeah. Don't you think that, of course you're going to give me another point mm. before we go for a short commercial break. Mm. Don't you think that uh, people right now, those that you're talking about who actually instead of presenting their matter mm. in, in a rightful way, mm. they resort to being so harsh, being so rude. Mm. Don't you think it's because of the disappointment that they have been getting and they're like, now, okay, what should we do then? Circumstances, we have spoken to them well, but they are not listening. Circumstances differ. Yeah. These people of Luigi, you don't expect them to come and sing songs uh, and sanitize everything. Of course, they must come with a lot of annoyance. Just imagine somebody's house has been demolished. They have nowhere to enter. They can't come. And you as a leader, you must just understand that. You just be empathetic and understand that. Those are cases which are there. But the most common cases we see, the most common cases we see, everybody demanding for accountability, demanding for service delivery, does it with a lot of annoyance. Does it? I mean, annoyance can't solve everything. Uh, they, are, they are still your leaders anyway. Yeah, they are. Mm. But do you know that, Mr. Elvis, mm. uh, the reason why these people are annoyed, you know, for me, now, now I'm on these people who, are, who come to the leaders, mm. even though they are coming from God with, with bitterness, mm. it is because the service they are supposed to get they are actually paying for it. Mm. They are paying taxes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And you are not giving accountability. The only accountability you are giving, we don't have money. And after one day, the man has been, you get corrupt guys. So people, when they come to you, a leader, for example, you, Mr. Elvis, you are the, you are the minister for whatever. Mm. They, they have to, we have to be bitter because we have paid for this. We, we, we have paid the taxes. Mr. Mulanzi, sometimes the bitterness won't eh? help. Yes, you, are, you have all the right to be bitter. <laughs> but you see, two wrongs can't make a right. The person is already wrong, is comfortable in his wrongness, and you come with another wrong. How will that solve the problem? Just swallow that pride, swallow that pain, and, said, because okay. you still need the person. So I want you to paint a picture. For yeah. me. I am the minister <laughs> for ICT. Yes. Because that one I can manage it. True. Hey, hey. That one I can manage. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I am the minister for ICT. Mm. And uh, probably you have your your case mm. to me. Mm. Yeah, I have failed to deliver any service, maybe computers, or maybe I've levied so much, uh, put so much uh, t uh, t heavy taxes on the media mm. station and so on. Mm. Now you are the MD of UN or director of any station. Mm. So when you come to me, how would you approach me? Of course. The taxes are so high. Mm. Eh? Mm. You don't know where you're going to get the billions to pay. Mm. Now I, I am the minister. Mm. Mm. Paint a picture for me. Of course, meeting a minister, you must first write or make an appointment. Uh, By the that, time you that, meet that has the minister. Been set, now you are coming to meet him. By the time I meet you, the minister, mm. you know there is willingness to help me from the minister. By the time that minister accepts to meet me, having written for a very long time, he knows why I'm trying to pester him and why I'm stalking him up. You see, now there is a problem there. Mm -hmm. Having written mm. to the minister mm -hmm. for many times, mm. meaning many times I've been can writing be and failing. Mm. But you know very well your ministers many in this country. Requests come to ministers. Uh, many requests okay. come to ministers. Which that is okay. People. But we, we give them money mm -hmm. to handle those requests. Mm. And actually, if the money is not enough, they ask for the supplementary. Mm. Okay? Mm. Why do they ask for the supplementary? Because they want to handle these many yes. requests. Yes, yes. But yes. they are not handling yes. them. Yes. A very clear example I wrote to the office of the vice president two years ago. Mm. Even up to now, they have never replied me. Always, could it be by email? Could it be by WhatsApp? I went on their website. I took a letter to their office. Mm. They have never replied me. Have I am made, saying it on air. Have you made, and they are watching. Have you made a follow-up? I did the follow-up mm. and I stopped. I got tired. Because you said you can write to the minister and spend... Mm. You know, and fail and fail. Do you see where the problem is? Just like any entity, there are priorities, I believe. Yeah. And I'm sorry to say, they could have found out that yours wasn't a priority at that time. Which is okay. Now the problem, the problem you did was to give up. I mean, they have... No, 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 no. Mm. The office of the vice president, mm. I am talking about 
the office of the, of vice, the vice oh yes president the very powerful of the republic of uganda of uganda <laughs> how can you have a website that is not functioning how can you have an email that is not functioning mm. how can you have a whatsapp that is not able to reply to people and how can someone walk into your office you have the you call they call them what personal assistants mm. or whatever those who help them in the offices mm. you deliver a letter mm. and they don't give you a reply that is that is a if i go back 100% sure they will tell me we don't know where your letter is that's quite unfortunate but and I'm just because, giving you that because, just that. because me, a, a person who did IT, I believe there is supposed to be feedback. Okay, even communication that I'm doing, there's supposed to be feedback. Now for mails, of course, I know very many mails keep flowing in. Very many mails keep flowing. But at least the letter I took personally. Now I employ you also on air to make another follow-up. Don't give up. <laughs> you are laughing it off. Of it. <laughs> no, no, don't give up. <laughs> no, no. What we are talking about yes. here, you, I want you to, now if it is happening there, mm. now how about the RDC's office? Now how about the ROC chairman five whatever? Now how about the district car one? Where do they really help people? <laughs> they try their level best. Of course we have bad people really. We have bad people. Eh? We have, like we have, wow. we, we were talking about the moral decadence in, in, in the communities. It is from the community that we pick leaders. Mm. And so there are people need who are bad. They don't want to help others. Much as some people are genuinely uh, are willing to help people, but resources are tight, or maybe the people under them are doing them a disservice. Now, for example, now what we have talked about, mm. do you know that now, when they hear it on air, mm -hmm. for me, I've, I've explained this many times. Mm. When they hear it on air, mm. where do they gather the, the resources now to handle the issue? Because it has been heard on the radio. It may not and be a TV. problem of resources, but sometimes uh, the big person, the MD, has the willingness, but he has not got the information. Maybe they, they, these other juniors misplaced the, the document, so unfortunate. Mm. Maybe they misplaced, yeah? That could also have happened. I mean, things happen. Well, mm. yeah. Uh, still on our, on our motto, for God and my country, mm. we have unity and diversity. Mm. You see, Uganda is diverse. First of all, culturally, tribes are so many, but we are supposed still to unite and respect each other. And that's why the president and some leaders, they are so much against tribalism. Mm. Mm. Tribalism, giving services according to tribes, this is so and so, this is this tribe, I will not help. No, that one doesn't work. And everybody you see mm. trying to play the tribal card, you know that person is not a patriot. Mm. And that person is not living according to our good motto of for God and my country. Yeah? It's supposed to be uh, inclusive, supposed to be a uniting factor. Whether we have different tribes, we are supposed to be one, speak the same language. That's why we have a national language and an official language. We have English, we have Kiswahili. Those ones at least unite us. I'm seeing Uga Uganda also is now spoken almost in the whole of uh, Uganda. Hmm? Mm. But those are the diversities we must appreciate. Those are the diversities we must appreciate. And if you appreciate that, then indeed you're living according to our motto for God and my country. Mm. The other one is integrity. We are supposed to demonstrate transparency and accountability in whatever we do. Mm. You may not need to wait until you get an office to be accountable. But you're a child in a home, at what time do you come back home? Do you come back after your fathers come back home and you knock them and they have to open and you ask for food? That is where the problem starts. Mm. Uh, a teacher at school, gives you homework or gives you a task. Do you wait for him to ask for it and yet you know the deadline? No. Accountability, the lack of it. Now, when such a person who doesn't have that good grooming from, uh, from childhood, from school life, lands in a big office, that's what's it's going to happen. Money comes, he looks here and there, he's the MD, of course, nobody questions him, he pockets it mm. and concocts a report, concocts an accountability, 
that is bad. Sometimes they involve in the junior officers. Sometimes. According to the IGG. Mm. Sometimes, of course, junior officers have been warned. Maybe they've been given a kickback. These are guys also who are not doing well financially. They've mm. been given something. That is all bad. Mm. So transparency is okay. Doing the right thing even when nobody's seeing you. Mm. Yeah, just do the right thing. And then when you do that, I believe God that you believe in is happy and Uganda, your motherland, is happy. Mm. That's what I believe. The other one is uh, responsible citizenship. You see, uh, mm. when you see people uh, participating in civic duties, community work, people going for voting, uh, people paying taxes, those are civic duties that we shouldn't actually look aside when they're happening. Mm. But you've heard leaders saying, boycott this, boycott the other. Uh, URA brings in a tax. Mm. IFRIS. Yes. IFRIS well, is not, it's a, not tax. a tax, no, but it is a not. system. A system mm -hmm. which enables them to collect tax with ease. And then, of course, uh, you can pardon the people. They really don't know it, so they call it a tax. But I expected their leaders. Mm. Others called it a disease, the CIFRIS. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I expected their leaders <laughs> to come up and tell them, people, you know what? This is not a tax. It is a system which isn't the collection of the money. Hmm? But they kept quiet. And they let people now just attack the authorities. And yet they knew the, 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 the correct thing. Mm. So that is so bad. Mm. Hmm? Mm. So paying of taxes, voting, and then community service. A lot of boycott doesn't help. Well, it shows dissatisfaction. But I mean, that alone doesn't help. Okay, maybe, yeah, well... It may not be helping, but uh, if someone is dis, uh, dissatisfied, for example, uh, already, for example, the, the, a liter of uh, fuel mm. is close to 5,500 mm. shillings. Mm. And if you're again leaving more, well, the government will put, let's say, will put another 100 shillings mm. on one liter of fuel. Mm. And then you're going to find that these petrol stations, they are also going to add in more. Mm. And now, when we come up and say, ee, ee, what is going on? Because at the end of the day, me, the final consumer, mm. I, I am the one facing all this. True. And when the government is levying the tax on these people who are selling us the fuel, mm. they are not mindful of me, the final consumer. Okay? That's so, the point. Uh -huh, so when we, we, we boycott, is that wrong? It is partially wrong and partially right. <laughs> I'm going with the, the partial wrongness. <laughs> Why do you do it? Is it the only solution? Yeah. I don't have it. You can engage people. You can engage those people who are leaving it. Do you know that uh, as you are engaging, you're supposed to be paying? <laughs> as yeah. you are engaging, you are supposed to be paying. Yeah. If I've been engaging without paying, there we can talk. But you want me to engage them. As I am paying, and you know what they are going to do? Mm -hmm. They are going to delay the process such that by the time they, okay, let us hear from you. Now they say, but now we are hearing you, but you have all these debts. <laughs> no, but still, en please, engagement is so key. Engagement is so key. Yeah I, yeah, I agree with that. Engagement is so key. I agree with that 100%. Mm. Mm. But the process of engaging, takes we long. need to do something there. It takes long. It takes long. Of course, there are bureaucracies and all uh -huh. that. And that's why the government is trying to uh, like automate systems. Automate systems mm. that you can go maybe to a website, you can go to a system, yeah. and then things work like automatically. Mm. That's where Uganda has reached as well. Mm. Yeah. So instead of the writing of the letters and all that, and the, the, the manual follow up, and then you have to, to use somebody to go and uh, talk to the big man for you. Middleman. You need the, the middleman middle 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 and the middle woman. You see, at least that one, that one is getting reduced. Mm. I thank God for Kenya. Kenya is already up there. And very soon, Mr. Mulans, if you're a Christian, you must be having faith. Very soon, Uganda is going there. <laughs> Very soon, Uganda is going there. Okay. So, um, let me talk about unity and inclusivity, which I talked about, but there is uh, you, you've no actually respect, respect for, for authority. Let me read some Bible verse here. And that is Romans 13, verse 1. Mm. 
to 7 it says let let everyone be subject to the governing authorities for there is no authority except that which God has established the mm. authorities that exist have been established by God consequently whoever rebels against the authority is rebelling against what God has instituted and those who do so will bring judgment on themselves it's not a simple word it is the word of God like Catholics say mm. so a country whose motto is for God and my country is a country that's supposed to take the word of God, the instruction of the Lord, as so serious. And the Uganda I want <clears throat> is the Uganda that follows its motto. Okay. So when you wake up mm. and uh, you draw a picture of Uganda, mm. do you think the way we are right now mm. it doesn't make sense to have that motto yeah because if the status quo is to remain mm. it would be better not to have this very good motto but as long as we still want this motto we need to do something we need to change okay mm. in just a few minutes before we sign out mm. tell me what must i do let me finish up with morality. I'm going to finish up in a very short time. Morality, you see, these are principles and values that guide an individual's behavior or even okay. decision-making. Morality. Remember how we started? Mm. The decadence of it? We started from immorality. Mm. Now we have come to morality. Morality now. Mm. The right thing to do. Mm -hmm. Principles and values that guide an individual's behavior yeah. and decision-making. And you see... It doesn't only uh, align to uh, distinguishing what is right and what is wrong, what is just and what is unjust, what is good and what is bad. It doesn't end there. Morality is after distinguishing that this is bad and this is good. Mm -hmm. Go with a good one. Because at least everybody knows that this is bad, this is good, including the corrupt, including those who insult people, including those who don't respect elders, who don't respect authority. They know what I'm doing is bad, but they choose to go with the bad thing. And to me, I believe they should go with the right one. That mm -hmm. is morality. So you mean a traffic officer mm. who stops you on the way? Yeah. The air, eh, where, where? Mm. Eh? Where is Katunda? Eh? Mm. Katunda, Katunda, Aliwa. Eh? <laughs> as, as, as somebody... Kulabi gundi teri yiko, kakati sebo, bako chokola, mm. sadi pate yakuna, that bako is, chokola. That is bad. So, he knows, he knows that what he's doing Very is bad. Very well, and that's why he hides. But he does it when he's happy. He's, yeah, even, but, he's even smiling. Yes, but he hides. Why? Tekuli yiko gundi. Mbani na kwa chipapula cha mitualo kumi. Nye kati, hmm? Do you know how they do it? <laughs> uh, these, these, these taxi <laughs> totes have known how they do it. Eh? When you when the man stops you and you're the taxi driver, you don't stop before you reach him. Pass him, stop. The conductor will come behind and give him something. Hey, so and it's the, a great the driver mm. and the traffic officer, they already know what they are doing is bad. And that's why they but hide. they are happily doing it. They are happily doing it because it saves them time. <laughs> and, and that's why they do it. It saves them time. Eh? Oh my but it's goodness. Bad. Something has to be done, yeah. yes. But after distinguishing what is good from what is bad, then you do the good thing. You're following the right direction. Mm. Yes? You're following the morality path now. The morality path. And if children in school, students, uh, politicians, and all these other government workers, and even private uh, workers, mm. uh, to follow these values, Uganda is going to change. Uh, the other thing is, you see, there are two moral philosophies. There's uh, deontology and then there is uh, utilitarianism. Mm. Deontology is strict. It puts a law, you do this, the law says this. So it's even punitive. Mm. You go to jail. You do this, maybe this is a fine. That is deontology. Very strict. Utilitarianism has it that, uh, actually it's also called uh, consequentialism. Mm. Consequentialism has it that uh, an act being good or bad depends on the consequences. You stole money for what? If you stole the money to go and 
maybe medicate your child. Uh, consequentialism says you're, you're okay. That is <laughs> safe anywhere. <laughs> I don't think so. That I don't it. think so. Do you know that he's, he came to Kololo and he told the IGG, ah, ha, ha. if they are stealing and investing here, uh, leave them. Yeah. Uh, I think but those who steal and <laughs> build the houses. I think people, abroad, people uh, uh, also misquoted him. People misquoted him. Actually, they only cut that and then they made the whole blow about it. I but, don't think but so. But there was a statement he made before that. Uh, I believe so. And if you went back to that clip, you would see that there is a statement he built. Uh, uh, but still, even if he built whatever statement mm. he built, just saying that, now you, he's you, okay with those. Consequentialism uh, gives room for, for dialogue, mm. which some people don't do, which deontology doesn't do, which barbaric people don't do. Akoze chino, akomerewe. Akoze chino, atiwe. Mamukuwa mayinja. That is so bad. You must give room for, uh, for, for, for negotiation. But I think for some issues, we need that. We need for the, some, there are some issues where we need... We need the blood. You remember recently when it was... Hey, did, what did they ask? The MPs asked for blood. Now, if it was their blood... Eh? Amnesty, uh -uh. If they were the ones blood. in there... <laughs> and when you do that, you'll kill everybody. <laughs> You'll kill everybody. <laughs> because you see, we are all potential prisoners. Yes. We have ever committed crimes only that they didn't catch us. Mr. Mm. Mulanzi, are you so clean? Uh, no, no one is Thank perfect. You so no much. one is perfect. So just imagine if it was blood, 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 and blood alone. Mm. Uh, no one is perfect. But mm. if there is nothing that makes you to fear that if I do this, mm. This is going to happen. And that's why courts I are tell there. you, <laughs> we will be, you know, the status quo will be like the way it is. And that's honest. why courts are there. Yeah? Aha. That's you, want why... it, you want me to take you to, take, to talk about to court? You may not go there right now uh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's uh, another thing. <laughs> yeah, another thing. But at least justice. But you know what is happening there. I know. Yes, courts are there. Mm. The buildings are there. Mm. The judges are there. And we are paying them. But people get justice. But what they are supposed to do. That's Look, where what, the what do, you, what do you mean? Eh? What do you mean, Mr. They know. <laughs> they and know. you, you know. <laughs> they know, and you, you know. <laughs> okay, so those two moral philosophies, the ontology mm. and then uh, mm. uh, this other... Uh, cons consequentialism. Consequentialism, mm. which is also called utilitarianism. Mm. The utility of the bad thing you have done is justified by this. I've left that to you and to the viewers. They know which one would serve them better. Either blood or dialogue. And dialogue is good. Somebody has been in the social media, maybe because of corruption, okay, corruption rumors or tendencies, and then you come up and then bash the man out, and then you're speaking a lot of uh, bad things about him. Did you give him a chance? Did you talk to him? He's still a person like you, like, to but, is but, human. But there are those that don't need a chance. For example, one minister that I will not mention the name, mm. he said me, uh, the, 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 the iron sheets found their route mm. to, <laughs> to my home. That was annoying. Okay. That was really annoying. It was here, yeah, okay. Mm. But now here is the thing. Mm. If this thing had not come out, do you think he was going to come out and say, I got iron sheets in, I mean, the answer is that I have iron sheets, but I don't know where they came from. No, you wouldn't come out. Uh -huh. You see? Or even if you would come out, you would come up not, not, not in the media. Uh, no. But you would tell somebody. Why? Why not in the media? No, you can tell somebody. Why not in the media? You can tell your house help who brought this, that so and so brought. Okay, it's okay. okay. You see where the problem mm. is, is for me what I see myself is as we are about to sign out mm. and as we are talking about this very key uh, mm. issue that is uh, 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 crippling and grappling our country. Mm. If someone has not been exposed, for example, for corruption, they don't say anything. Where is their honesty then? It is lacking. It is lacking. And that's why we are saying people should go back yeah. to the drawing board. People should go back to the drawing board. Just like the Bible tells us, uh, the Bible tells us yeah. in Jeremiah 6, 16, that consider the old roots. Consider the old roots. Parents should consider the old roots. Children should consider the old roots. Yeah, that's okay. Yes. I agree with that. Mm. But now, 
the, the issue at hand right now is if I don't say, Mr. Elvis, no, I saw you, mm. I even have proof, mm. you gave 10,000 to the mm. other traffic man. Why wouldn't you say, aha, the traffic man was asking me 10,000 and I never gave him because he wanted, or oh, I gave him, here is the proof and that is wrong because he asked me for corruption. But Why don't we do that? But some people do that. But of course, when you do that, the, the media doesn't follow you up. The media follows the person who has refused to admit. Uh, no, for me, I'm looking for that one. You will get, you will get such a me, person. Me, I'm <laughs> looking for that one, the whistleblower. Yes. Me, I am looking for the whistleblower when it comes and to these see, issues. Many investigative pieces have been done about traffic police. Many investigative pieces have been done on corruption. Where they end is what we don't know. But I know those people pay dire, dire consequences. People have been caught on those corrupt tendencies. Okay, so maybe you, me and you, let's request this mm. government. Let mm. the government become, be honest from all their uh, sectors and entities, okay? Mm. The same, we have the budget to expose the corrupt. Mm. Let, let the same budget serve the same purpose to expose those who are not corrupt. I will not say that the government should do, expose the corrupt. The government is already doing it. I'm now talking about you, individuals. For you, you are satisfied the way the government is doing it. The government is okay. I'm on individuals. I'm on individuals. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm on individuals. You, officer who is in that office, yeah. you get to know that you're serving the nation, mm -hmm. you're serving God. Our motto is for God and my country. It's God and your country. It's your time to serve in that office. Mm -hmm. While you serve in that office, do the right thing. Give services to the people and God will be happy with you and you will have peace. But when you do the contrary, God won't be happy and there is no blessing in that kind of money. You student who's watching me, obey your parents, obey your teachers, respect leaders and avoid anything unjust. Seek counsel always and when anybody elderly talks to you, understand them, listen to them. In case you have anything against them, talk to them with respect. Mm. Don't bash leaders, don't insult them on social media, don't type things against them, be nice to them. Mm. Yeah, finally, you're a student of journalism mm. and uh, communication management. Yeah. How can we manage our communication on all platforms mm. in this country, just in two minutes? Uh, first of all, regulation is supposed to be done, and I know it's there. The most recent one is on uh, social media. But like I said earlier, implementation is the issue. And you see, social media, like journalism calls implement it... implement the regulations for communication? UCC. Okay. Anybody comes up and uh, like goes towards the wrong side of the law should be caught. So let me use your word. Yeah. UCC is sleeping on this. How? I know you said there are some leaders who are sleeping. Hmm. If you say UCC is not supposed to implement and I was still adding. the communication regulations, hmm. they are sleeping. No, it's doing it. But I was still adding that social media. Social media. Social media. Social media being new media. Social media is new media, isn't it? Mm -hmm. People have jumped to it without knowing these consequences. Most of the users of social media are not learned. Which is okay. So they don't even and know. What is UCC doing now? What is, mm -hmm. what is UCC doing now? Mm -hmm. social media. Now, this boy who insulted Kawaka. How was he picked? But you, it's an example. It's an example. It's an example. And you see, by the time they get it. By the time they get it. The sharing. Uh -huh. Now, that is, I believe that's just the beginning of it. Okay. But the other thing is also sensitization. I believe UCC should be open because these laws, these policies are there, but they should maybe publicize them more mm. so that every user of this new media gets to know that when I do this, this is it. And you see Ugandans don't read. We don't read. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
obagambe tujizako kino ne kino ne kino ne kino nga mumazo kuchitegera mwami Elvis nga bintu byenjogera kote biri muguru nga bajja ko chi about things internet bwe tutuka mukalulu mm -hmm. bajijjako bamanyo kujijjako ne batu shutting down ngarwachi facebook kweli ngarwachi <laughs> of course facebook is uh -huh. facebook is there yes but there is a tax levied on it uh -huh. we just talked about patriotism so we just talked about loving yes. our country and paying yes. taxes uh -huh. but now wachi mukalulu basobola kujijjako akalune kagwa neddako can't you cc shut down the internet to sensitize us then they bring us back and yet they is that need, difficult and yet they need the internet to sensitize us eh? They will pass their sensitization message through the internet while. Eh, but let me go this side. Chile bika we baji jako. Man has to follow sensitizing about. That's going to disadvantage even the good users. These are the bad users. The mm. few rotten tomatoes will be picked on one by one. The rotten tomatoes are few. Oh, are many. There are many, but of course uh, some are apologetic. Eh, but when when this one does this <laughs> <laughs> apologetic apologetic rotten tomato oh, yes. in Uganda wow no the rot begins and then you apologize and then you go back to normal you are left but when you do this mistake yes. you do this after warnings you're still doing the same you are taken on i want to thank you thank Welcome. you for sparing time to come and share with us the kind of Uganda that you envision thanks for having me yes um, I've, I've learned a lot and i believe our viewers you have also learned something and uh, i just want to charge you do something do something don't just listen uh, or watch but do something remind them of the motto yeah do something to make sure that we get back to the motto of this country for god and, and my country my country mm. we sign out